Safety should be an important consideration whenever you're performing maintenance, right Ben? You got it. So let's say we've got a situation where we're going to be needing to lock out a piece of electrical equipment. What tips do you have to make sure that we keep our employees safe? Well, you want to make sure first and foremost that this is only being done by a qualified electrical worker. You also want to make sure that you aren't opening anything up that hasn't had an assessment for shock and arc flash hazards. Without those assessments, you won't know what kind of hazards you're standing in front of when you open up that piece of equipment. The next thing you need is to make sure that you have the right protective equipment for the job at hand. That could include use of a protective face shield, insulated gloves, insulated tools, arc rated clothes like the shirt I'm wearing, and a verified working voltage meter. So how do you go about verifying that you have a working voltage meter? That's a great question. NFPA 70E details how to establish an electrically safe working condition by a method that's known as the live dead live method. So you're going to test that meter on something that you believe to be live. Then you're gonna go ahead and with that voltage meter, you're gonna test it on something you believe to be dead. And then one last time, you're gonna test it on something live so that when you go to do lockout tag out, you know that meter's working at both ends of the spectrum. Makes sense to me. Thanks for all the great tips. No problem. For more information on electrical safety, go to BradyID.com.